welcome to Simply Sat Samayal. This is Junior here, and today we are gonna see cookies. Everyone's favorite bourbon cookies. It's my favorite. It's your favorite, and it's everyone's favorite. That too, freshly baked. So today we are gonna see its recipe and how to bake it. So this is the measuring scale. Uh, this is the bowl which we are gonna make. So press zero. Now we are gonna show you how much cups we are putting on the tablespoon or teaspoon, and also we are showing how many how much grams this is. So it will be helpful for you. One cup of maida or all-purpose flour. After the one cup, you have to put one third cup of more maida or all-purpose flour. It will be uh, 172 to 175 grams approximately. Now you have to put this flour. The baking time is So in my school, the exams just finished. So I'm very excited to bake. Yeah, I love baking. Wow, quarter cup of cocoa powder. You have to use a very good quality of cocoa powder. I'm using Cadbury over here. Two more teaspoon of cocoa powder. It's around 30 grams. Now we have the You should measure uh, baking powder very accurately, okay? Because if you add too much or uh, less, also it will affect your cookies. So smooth. Yes, now we have to Maybe. Next, we have to put icing sugar. Two third cups, uh, which is 75 grams, okay? Approximately again. You can't use other sugars like brown sugar, caster sugar, raw sugar, white sugar, and all. Don't use them. Use only icing sugar, okay? I am using go here a tablespoon uh, quantity, okay? This one. This I used nine tablespoons. It is 75 grams approximately. Okay, then here is butter, the smooth and silky. Okay, it shouldn't be too much soft. Okay, see, I'm touching. It should be this much only. Okay, this texture. Uh, again, this should also be two third of cup. Oh, here I'm gonna measure with one third of a cup. This is approximately 140 grams. I want to stand with I want to stand with I'm good at this. Okay, now you have to mix it. Remove this thumb mixer. You check with your hand if you are able to make it into a ball. You are able to, right? See in that, you have to check. This is how we should do it. So, uh, we have kept it inside the fridge for 10 to 20 minutes. After you remove it, you have to keep it back for the camera. And now you have to remove the other side. Slowly. Remember, slowly and steadily during the day. And you have to be clear. Keep it back. This time we have to remove this. You have to cut the edges neatly. 
In the meantime, preheat the oven for 160 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Okay. In case you have leftover ones that like we have, you can roll. Uh, you can knead it up again. Uh, you can make it into a ball. Then you have to, uh, you know, make it into a thin sheet like before. You don't need to freeze it again, all over again. Uh, you can cut it again with uh, your desired, uh, with any desired one. Look at it. Now, we have to, you know, turn it back and then take the other. while making cookies. You have to leave some space like this so that uh, you know while baking it may expand and all so you have to leave some space. This is another type, so cut the edges, okay? So it's like mini bow buns. So inside this you can fill the cream which we are going to show in just a bowl. Bourbon. In bourbon, the crispy sugar on top and the holes, right? So that is what we are going to make using a fork, lightly press like this. Is this pork, okay? You don't have to make it in order, but if you make it in order, it will be nice. You have to sprinkle the sugar, okay? In the preheating process, it's in 160 degree for 10 minutes. So now, this oven is piping hot. Okay, so from down, I'm putting the second row, okay? That is it. Then close it. It will slide it by its own self. 180 degree. And then for... Now we are putting it to 20 minutes. Like you have to check in intervals. Not open it. Two rods should be on, okay? Don't touch it. You have to do this with other supervision. quarter cup of butter okay? so this is one cup of icing sugar uh, so we will put this okay so you can see it has come like this texture you can see it's like pan goa uh, now you have to mix it well so this is like, you know like the dough consistency but it, it should be a bit more liquidy okay so not liquidy Okay, now you, this is not the right consistency, okay, you have still more steps to do. You have to put half teaspoon vanilla essence, okay. Goes in the vanilla, goodness. Now you have to add an extra one tablespoon of icing sugar, okay. Now mix it fast, okay. Now it should be fast, rinse the taste, okay. Not slow and slow. So it is baked, 20 minutes is over. As you can see, it has been cooked nicely. And yeah, the cream is also ready. So you have to let this cool up fully, okay? So it should be okay, in room temperature. It might be a bit unshaped, but this is filled with love. So this is the cream, this is the cookies which have been cooled down fully. Now I have put this in the piping bag, okay? And you have to spread it nicely, okay? So that it's very creamy like, you know, real bobbin. In the cream, if you want, you can add cocoa powder also. the cream oozing out mm. same taste of 
bourbon cookies. So now, uh, this is the mini bourbon which we did. You have to use a technique so that all the cream spreads. You have to smoosh it so that the cream oozes out and you feel tempted. So, you can give this to your neighbors, you can give this to children. Everyone will love it, okay? So, try it and share it and love it. I hope you watched the whole video. So, don't forget to subscribe to Simpli Sarp Samir. Uh, press the like button. Uh, share this video to everyone so that everyone will enjoy Bourbon filled with love. Bye-bye. See you soon! Filled with amazingness. Understand? So you also try it, okay? Send me the pics and all.